This is Akashwani, the news read by Anuja Kumar. The three-day startup Mahakumbh, one of the biggest events showcasing the startup ecosystem, began at Bharat Mandapam in New Delhi today. This startup event aims at connecting startups with a spectrum of inventors, including venture capitalists, investors, and potential corporate partners. Speaking at the event, DPIIT Secretary Rajesh Kumar Singh said, when the Startup India initiative was launched in 2016, there were around 300 startups, and now the number has increased to over 1 lakh in the country. The event will have sector-focused pavilions, including pavilions on AI, B2B, agri-tech, deep tech, climate tech, gaming, e-sports, fintech, incubators and accelerators. More than 2,000 startups, 30,000 future entrepreneurs, 50,000 business visitors, thousands of investors and over 5,000 incubators and delegations from 10 countries are taking part in this mega-event. Prime Minister and senior BJP leader Narendra Modi has said that there is exceptional fervor in favor of the NDA in southern states. Addressing an election rally at Jagtial in Telangana today, Mr. Modi said BJP stands committed to fulfill the aspirations of the people of Telangana. He said the record affection at the Jagtial rally is a clear indication of in which way the wind is blowing. The Modi urged the people of the state to cast vote in favor of the NDA to ensure speedy development of the state. The National Testing Agency NTA will conduct CUET UG between the 15th and the 31st of May, as announced earlier. In this period, two dates overlap with the general election dates on the 20th and the 25th of May. UGC Chairperson Mr. Jagdish Kumar said in a social media post that after the last date for filing of applications on 26th of March, the number of students registered for CUET UG and their geographical distribution will be known. He said that based on this data and the election dates, the NTA will announce the date sheet for CUET UG between 15th and 31st of May. Delhi Chief Minister Arvind K. Jival today skipped the ED summons in money laundering case linked to alleged irregularities in the Delhi Jal Board. Aam Aadmi Party has called the summons illegal and accused the BJP government of using Enforcement Directorate to target K. Jival. This is the second time when Delhi CM has been summoned under the anti-money laundering law. Mr. K. Jival is already facing ED summons in money laundering case linked to Delhi's excise policy. He has skipped eight summonses in that case. Slamming Mr. K. Jival for skipping summons, Delhi BJP Chief Virendra Sachdeva today alleged that Arvind K. Jival is involved in corruption and he needs to realize that he has lost his dignity and now only has summons left in his life. In Bihar, at least eight people were killed and three others seriously injured this morning in a road accident on NH31 under Pasraha police station area in Kagadia district. Police said the incident took place when an SUV collided with a cement-laden tractor near a petrol pump. After the accident, the SUV fell into a ditch. All those who lost their lives were members of the same family and returning from a marriage function in the district. The injured people have been admitted in Bhagalpur and nearby hospitals. Union Ministry of Parliamentary Affairs, in collaboration with Assam Legislative Assembly, has organized national e-vidhan application in Guwahati for a paperless legislative process and enhanced connectivity with all the government departments of Assam. The NEVA implementation will revolutionize the operational dynamics of the Assam Legislative Assembly by facilitating the electronic laying of all paperless on the house, fostering seamless e-connectivity with government departments and advancing the Go Green initiative of the union government. Russian President Vladimir Putin has clinched a historic fifth term, securing a landslide victory in the presidential polls. And in cricket, Royal Challengers Bangalore won the Women's Premier League title, beating Delhi Capitals by eight wickets in New Delhi last night. And that is the end of this news bulletin.